Hello guys, welcome back to another episode review of Hollyoaks for part 1, 20th of June 2023. This was a really funny episode. Let's start off with Sam's situation with Zoe. We saw in the last episode he left a book for Zoe. Uh, how a woman can do it all, have a career and have a baby at the same time. So he's obviously he's obviously doing it for his benefit and and he's trying to convince Zoe to basically indirectly keep the baby and giving her options uh I look I think in his mind he thinks he's he's meaning well but it's actually doing more damage and more harm than than good I don't think Sam is a as far as uh, up to this episode, as far as I'm aware, I don't think he's malicious. Um, I just think he lacks that, just that integrity where you, where you're understanding relationships and and such. And even his younger brother Mace tried to have a, a word with him, and talk to him about you know his you know he 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 knows what he feels like. He's been shut out all his life and he's he's been lonely and frustrated and etc then he went mason unfortunately went to talk about the online stuff that he's been involved in and then sam thought he was comparing um mace was comparing his online situation is you know the incel stuff that the dark online web thing mace was involved in to sam's situation and then sam just was kind of brutal and said leave the adult stuff to us and you focus on your strawberry milkshake etc I thought it was a bit harsh to Mason, and I I do think Mason didn't really mean it like that, um, or he wasn't really comparing the situation. Um, I can see how Sam was a little bit insulted, uh, but at the end of the day, the way he's behaving with when it comes to Zoe and being a bit full on, and now sending her books about how you can have it all, a career and a baby, I just think that's yeah, that's it's 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 not much different to what Mace was involved in, whereas Mace was. Um, his his club or whatever whatever you want to call it that was predominantly hating women and being like a proper dan- like a really dangerous um, threat to women whereas Sam it's the opposite he is 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 obsessed with um I think I think it's an obsession but then that will have some sort of similar effect because. Now you're kind of like smothering someone. I don't know. Let me let me know what you think, guys, because this is a very sensitive subject, and I think Hollyoaks are brilliant at portraying the so many different ways of um, kind of like affecting others, especially if you know. Now this he's in. A, he we used to be in a relationship with Zoe, and this is really a you know, affecting her quite badly, and um, anyway, yeah, he's he's been quite brutal to Mason, he's walked off, and, you know, and now he went to the, he went to the pub, and the dog, and you can see in the picture there, that he's, you know, he's first he spoke to Darren, and Darren was just saying his own situation with Charlie, then, and then Tony came along, <laughs> and then, he made it so funny, the scene, where Tony was saying, you got to be persistent with women, etc., and then Sam, you can see Sam was really taking in Tony's advice. I mean, of all people, he shouldn't really take Tony's advice. And then Tony was boasting with Darren that between the two of them, they've been married nine times. And I mean, I find that absolutely hilarious. But Tony, don't forget, doesn't know Sam's situation and, and a kind of like a, a threat or a danger that he poses to Zoe with and without Sam knowing. And, and you know, we can... He's... He's he's like I said earlier. He's not a malicious person. It's just he's. I don't know if it's just a lack of integrity or a lack of education. You being in a relationship and I mean this naturally you shouldn't be doing this stuff anyway. So you, you don't really need to be educated. I don't know. Yeah, don't, let me know what you think, guys, because this is this is a very interesting topic. Anyway, so Sam listened to Tony's advice, and you can see t- t- Tony was saying, you've got to be very persistent with the women, and he's boasting with Darren, um, you know, they've been married nine times between the pair of them, and you got to put the candles, the flowers, the dinner, and the whole lot to win a woman back. Sam was literally taking mental notes in his head. Then somehow he got into Zoe's flat, 
and he basically did exactly what Tony said, which was funny, but it was not funny when Zoe walked in. You can see the fear in Zoe's eyes when she asked, how did he get in? And Sam said, he's specky. That was pretty scary. And when Zoe wanted to leave, I think he closed the door behind her. And, and do you know what? That was that was pretty scary. And, and besides Tony's comedy earlier on, this took a dark turn as soon as Sam closed the door behind him and he, you know, he laid all the flowers, the plates up and everything. And so you can see the fear in Zoe's eyes as well. And she was about to go to a girls night with his Sam sister, Maxine, and his other sister, Lizzie. Um, she was looking forward to a girls night and then she walks into this. Um, listen, I don't think Sam's really malicious, but for him taking on Tona's advice, I think he's just lacking something. He's lacking some sort of integrity. I think he's, yeah, I think someone just needs to sit down, have a chat with him. Mace tried that, but he lashed out at Mace, thinking that, you know, Mace was trying to compare him to his previous incel life. Um, but yeah, I think had Tony known that um, the situation of Sam and Zoe, I don't think Tony would have given that advice if he, know, if he knew what Zoe was going through. Um so it quickly turned from a comedy scene with Tony and taking advice from Tony. And, and now this, that's pretty scary, actually, when you close the door and the episode just ended. Let me know what you thought of that as well. That was, yeah, that was not good for Zoe. I don't, I hope Zoe's all right in the next episode. I don't think Sam's going to hurt her, but it's, it's just, it's just a fear Zoe has inside. That's not nice to watch as a viewer. Um, what else happened? So Charlie as well trashed um Tony's car because he, he listened to his mate Dylan. I think Dylan's a nice, you know, is a good mate to him, but I think Dylan's another idiot. So it's like an, an idiot leading another idiot, and they're just getting into more trouble and such. Um, I think you know Charlie. Charlie was feeling guilty, really guilty about Jack getting hurt when they had to fake trash the house and just to get Taz drug dealer off. The Osborne's back. Um, yeah, I did say in the previous episode review that Charlie's going to be really, feel really guilty about this um, for some time as well. But it was quite funny with the post-it notes stuck on Tony's car. and um, But yeah, Tony found out, unfortunately, it was Charlie in the end. And I think Charlie's just going to face more, face more backlash. Um, what else happened? Uh, oh, yeah, Damon... Um, I think he's missing his uh, ex-Liberty. Um, and it might look like he's actually going to go through the heist now because it just seems like he's got something to to kind of like get his mind off Liberty now. I think he's just randomly missing her. Um, but Cindy's on Damon and Zara. Like a rash, she's getting them. She's getting them to rehearse, basically. And um, yeah, I think she's got them in line. So it'll be very hard for Zara and Damon to double cross Cindy and Grace in the heist. I think they'll be doing more damage than good. I don't know, but it'll be very interesting to see how this all unfolds. Sorry for the episode. This was quite a long review. Um, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next episode review. Peace.